Hello, students. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about how to how to use machine learning uh, to help us with portfolio forecast. Um, suppose you have a portfolio and you have a client, and the client asks you, "What do you think the portfolio will be six months from now, a year from now, six, eighteen months from now?" So this is what we're going to do now. Here is a few slides: introduction to portfolio forecast with machine learning. We use an Excel. For technology, but you can use other technology like MATLAB. Uh, objective is learning Excel formulas to project future performance. Key formulas, growth rate prediction, risk assessment, and return calculation. I will show you this. The formula is forecast.linear. Now, there are other forecasts, nonlinear forecasts, but the one we're going to use here is this. X will be the one that um, uh, where, where we want to go, like like now we are 24, I want to predict 2030, for example. 2024 now, we want to predict what's going to be the future uh, portfolio in 2030. Uh, what are the now and whys? What's the return for the portfolio values? And what is the, the X, uh, which is the X? And then we calculate the average. And here is the formula. You can use also STDV to, to, SD, STDEV to calculate the portfolio risk forecast also. You can do anything. And uh, and then that will help us to predict forecast chart, also scenario analysis, what if you can do, a lot of things we can do here. So how are we gonna do it? We're gonna go to our finance. We get, suppose your portfolio has Amazon, AMZN. And you go to historical data. And you go to monthly. And let's go in the past uh, uh, five years download that's Amazon uh, I care about adjust the close uh, let's assume in your portfolio you have also Google so we'll go back to our finance. We're gonna choose Google. Historical data. Monthly. Um, five years, again, download, boom. Right, we're gonna use the Adjusted. That's Google. Let's assume in your portfolio there is also uh, Microsoft. You can add any. You can add any any companies. Number of company Microsoft, and then you do historical data monthly and five years and we're going to use again the same one here which is this one now your portfolio you can add apple also your portfolio let's assume you have 100 share of Amazon, which is 100 times Amazon. Let's assume you have uh, 250 shares of Google, 250 times Google. Uh, let's assume you have a 300, and whatever, I mean, 300 shares of Microsoft. So that's your portfolio. Double click, boom. That's your portfolio in the past five years. Now, you want to project what is going to be portfolio is going to be like a, <clears throat> uh, so we can do this answer. We can use those, but I'm going to make it simple. It's monthly. So one, two. One. Oh, text. So we're gonna have here one, two, 
So that would be 60 because 61, because this is the monthly data for five years, it should be 60, 61. Let's delete the last one here. 60 months. Now, that's my portfolio. That's our portfolio. So what we're going to do is take that a little bit down here. Go to data, view, view, uh, freeze the screen. Now we can have the portfolio here in the past five years. Now we're going to say what is going to be uh, six months from now, for example. So how are we going to do that? You do forecast function, you search for forecast. So there are many forecasts here. We're gonna use a linear one, but we can use a non-linear also. And then they ask you, what is your X? Which is six months from now. And then they ask you, what is your, uh, your portfolio values? And then they ask you, what is the dates? And okay, here should be 66. We are 60, should be 66, sorry. So your portfolio now, uh, let's call this in dollars, go home, dollars, without that. And now here, your portfolio, in dollars. So as of now, which is August 1st, 2024, your portfolio is 174,800. So what's going to be your portfolio six months from now, which is 66, will be 182,800. Now, if you have a client ask you what's going to be a year from now, that will be 60 plus 12 months, 72. Then your portfolio will be 192, like a year from now. Uh, if you want a two years, that will be another 12, will be 84. Enter. So your portfolio will be 212. So based in this data that we have here, all what we've did is just calculate the portfolio price and then get the forecast for this portfolio. That's all what we did. So now we can do also a different uh, forecast function. Uh, we do forecast. So you can have also forecast, forecast ETS confident. You have a seasonality if you want. And, and there's other forecast here, but for now we're just gonna use the linear uh, forecast and you can read about it. Um, and we can have a separate video to talk about this also if it's possible. So that's all I want you to do is build a portfolio, choose a couple of companies, the three here I have, but you can use any different company. And then you can say, okay, this is the portfolio in the past five years. Uh, and then how much is it? Also, you can do actually, all what you have to do if you have another company, it just, or if you have different shares, for example, 350 here, for example. Like you can say, what if I have a more of Microsoft 350? In return, I have less of Amazon. Let's assume 80. So this is the portfolio. All what you have to do, double click. That will update that. And then your portfolio values will be also changed in this case. Now you can do for another, you can like 10 years from now, you have 60, 10 years, it will be 120 days, which is equal, whatever you have here, 60 months plus 10 years, 120, 120 months. Then your portfolio will be, 180, sorry, 180. And your portfolio will be a half a million, no, not half a million. Now, if you do, if you want to hit the $1 million, when are you going to be hitting the million dollars? Let's say try 300, 300, 500. Okay, 500, which is 500 months from now, which is equal, 500 minus 60. Here, six, that's problem. Equal. 500 minus 60, that's 442, 440. And now you can say equal here, 12 divided by 12 months. In 36 years, this portfolio will hit the $1 million 
uh, Donald. Okay, students, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy uh, this video. Again, you have a slides you will have. You have the same Excel that I used here. You have this video. All I'm asking you is just replicate the work using a different portfolio, using different companies, maybe change it, put Apple here or NVIDIA, any company or JP Morgan or any bank and build a portfolio. Uh, and then show me that some hypothesis, what would be the forecast for the portfolio 12 months from now, a year, two years, three years, and so on and so forth. And here you have also the slides where we explain what is that portfolio forecast using the machine learning. The machine learning here, actually, the exercise here is very nice because here you didn't need to calculate and meet and this. All what you have to do is just put the number, 343 months from now, where are we going to be? $716,000, your portfolio. So here is the machine learning is you just put the number in and out. You get the results for your portfolio. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy this exercise.